Hello learner. Welcome to a mathematics lesson for grade 4. Today we will learn how to find the area of regular shapes. Your radio teacher is Kevin Moore here. Welcome to the program. Hello, Lana. Welcome to our Mathematics Grade 4 lesson. Today, we shall learn how to find the area of regular shapes. We shall learn how to find the area of regular shapes. Get your book, your pencil, and your ruler. I hope you are set to learn. I will start the lesson by asking you what you remember about measurement length. Question 1. What is perimeter? What is perimeter? And question 2. How do you calculate perimeter of regular and irregular shapes? How do you calculate the perimeter of regular and irregular shapes? Come back. I hope you have answered the questions. Perimeter is the distance round a shape. Perimeter is the distance round a shape, be it regular, be it irregular. Perimeter is the distance round a shape, be it a regular shape or an irregular shape. How do we calculate? the perimeter of regular and irregular shapes. How do we calculate the perimeter of regular and irregular shapes? To calculate the perimeter of a shape, we add all the sides together. To calculate the perimeter of a shape, we add all the sides together. For example, a piece of paper is 8 centimeters long and the shorter side is 4 centimeters. What is its perimeter? A piece of paper is 8 centimeters long and the shorter side is 4 centimeters. What is its perimeter. We said a rectangle has four sides and its opposite sides are equal. Therefore, I will take eight centimeters plus 4 centimeters, plus 8 centimeters, plus 4 centimeters to get 24 centimeters. Therefore, the perimeter of this rectangle is 24 centimeters. Today, we shall learn how to calculate the area of regular shapes. Today, we shall learn how to calculate the area of regular shapes. Lana, what is area? What is area?
area is the surface covered by a shape or an object. Area is the surface covered by a shape or an object. Can you remember the regular shapes we learnt last time? Can you remember the regular shapes we learnt last time? I hope you said that the regular shapes are rectangle, a square, a circle, and a triangle. Let us calculate the area of a rectangle. Remember, the units used to measure the area of a rectangle are square meters or square centimeters. For example, the longer side of a rectangle is 8 centimeters long and the shorter side is 4 centimeters. How do we find its area? The longer side of a rectangle is 8 centimeters long and the shorter side is 4 centimeters. How do we find its area? Did you find the area of a rectangle? Good. To find the area of the rectangle, we shall multiply the longer side and the shorter side. Therefore, I shall take 8 centimeters and multiply it by 4 centimeters. I shall take 8 centimeters and multiply it by 4 centimeters to get 32 centimeters squared. So my answer is 32 centimeters squared. I am sure you remembered that the units used to measure are square meters and square centimeters. I'm sure you remembered that the units used to measure the area are square meters or square centimeters. Lana? Find the area of a rectangle whose longer side is 9 centimeters and its shorter side is 5 centimeters. Find the area of a rectangle whose longer side is 9 centimeters and its shorter side is 5 centimeters. This is how I will calculate the area of a rectangle. I will take 9 centimeters and multiply it by 5 centimeters. I will take 9 centimeters and multiply it by 5 centimeters to get 45 centimeters squared. Therefore, the area is 45 centimeters squared. The next regular shape is the square. How do we calculate the area of a square? How do we calculate the area of a square? Very good. All the sides of a square are equal. Therefore, I shall just take two sides and multiply them. All the sides of a square are equal. Therefore, I shall take just two sides and multiply them. For example, a square table measures 5 meters. What is its area? A square table measures 5 meters. What is its area? Very 
very good. I will take 5 meters and multiply it by 5 meters to get 25 meters squared. Therefore, the area of the square table is 25 meters squared. Example 2. A square window has a length of 12 centimeters. A square window has a length of 12 centimeters. Find its area. How do I find out the area of the square window whose length is 12 centimeters? I will take 12 centimeters and multiply it by 12 centimeters to get 144 centimeters squared. I will take 12 centimeters and multiply it by 12 centimeters to get 144 centimeters squared. Therefore, the area of the square window is 144 centimeters squared. Lana, answer the following questions. Find the area of Question 1. A rectangular window pane whose longer side is 10 centimeters and the shorter side is 6 centimeters. A rectangular window pane whose longer side is 10 centimeters and the shorter side is 6 centimeters. Question 2. A square tablecloth whose side is 8 centimeters long. A square tablecloth whose side is 8 centimeters long. Very good. The first question is, find the area of a rectangular window whose longer side is 10 centimeters and the shorter side is 6 centimeters. In this question, we will take 10 centimeters and multiply it by 6 centimeters to get 60 centimeters squared. Therefore, the area of the rectangular window pane is 60 centimeters squared. The second question is find the area of a square table. Find the area of a square tablecloth whose side is 8 centimeters long. In this question, I will take 8 centimeters and multiply it by 8 centimeters to get 64 centimeters squared. I will take 8 centimeters and multiply it by 8 centimeters to get 64 centimeters squared. Therefore, the area of the square tablecloth is 64 centimeters squared. Now, Lana, practice the following questions after the lesson. Write down these questions. Find the area of Question 1. A rectangular door whose longer side is 3 meters and the shorter side is 2 meters. A rectangular door whose longer side is 3 meters and the shorter side is 2 meters. Question 2. A rectangular television screen whose longer side is 20 centimeters and the shorter side is 12 centimeters. A rectangular television screen whose longer side is 20 centimeters and the shorter side is 12 centimeters. 
Question 3. A square table mat whose side is 9 centimeters long. A square table mat whose side is 9 centimeters long. And question number 4. A square computer screen whose sides is 21 centimeters long. A square computer screen whose side is 21 centimeters long.